I dissected around the abnormal area that you could see on the scan. It sounds like something straight out of a horror movie. I took my tweezers or my tumour holding forceps and I pulled it out and I thought, gosh, what is that? Dr. Hari Priyabandi pulled an eight centimetre long worm out of a woman's brain. It was alive and wriggling when our poor uh, but very skilled neurosurgeon took it out with some forceps. It happened to a 64-year-old Australian woman who was suffering from an unexplained illness for over a year. So then, of course, there was a flurry of activity in our microbiology laboratory, just trying to work out what this worm was. We worked out that this was uh, a new parasite that had never been seen in a human before. The parasitic roundworm is usually found in pythons. Researchers' best guess is that the woman inadvertently ate some of the worm's eggs after picking warrigal greens, a native leafy vegetable near the python's habitat. And as the larva grew, it migrated to various organs in her body. This is a startling infection, but the world does not need to worry about an outbreak of this infection. While this is an extreme case, there are many other more common types of zoonotic diseases that pass from animals to humans. In general, good hand hygiene and cooking products like poultry, pig, beef, fish, etc. can avoid lots of these infections. The Australian patient is now back home and doing much better. Her doctors say they hope this unique case helps raise awareness about the risks of zoonotic illnesses. Paige Parsons, CBC News, Edmonton.